Point is mine. Do you understand that? That we have commandeered my point. This is my intelligence, and that is how you do it. Hey, I'm flying! Woohoohoo! Look at you, chuckleheads down there! Now that is what I want to see.
I am 150,000 kilograms in guy. And this... is my... Put this... She weighs one fires two dollar custom tool cartridge rounds per minute. It costs four dollars to fire this weapon for 12 seconds. <laughs> oh my god, who touched such? Put this... All right. Who touched Put this... Some people think they can outsmart me. Maybe. Maybe. I've yet to meet one that can outsmart Buddhist. Put this- Give them hell, boys! Oh! Incoming! Mine! Fine shot, mate! No other class gonna do that! We're my good team! Hey. Okay! Eyes on me! Today is Luke. a good day! Luke! Move up! Watch it! Charlie, hey! Eat my dust! Give me that shit! Way to go, Pally! Delta! Aces! Lock it up! Good! And... We're moving! Move up, move up, move up! This sucks on ice! Spot on! Oh. Hey, that's good! That is damn good! Very good! <laughs> See? Charlie? That's what you- Bang! Have. No. Here you go. Del Thanks, mate. Blue? Affirmative. This yes. one's for you. Nice shot. Hold. Kiss me. Eyes up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go. Move out.
nuke the town. This presentation is brought to you by your diabetes. You need a better life. Good morning. I'm Wilford Diabetes. I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about Brimley and actually about diabetes and how it's affected my diabetes life. I'll start when I was first Wilford Brimley and I, uh, I, uh, I was death. I was experiencing strange symptoms. For instance, I lost all my energy. I had an unquenchable thirst. My horseshoe rasp felt like a tongue. Uh, I was losing my family. And I was, uh, I went to see it Wilford. And he explained diabetes to me in a language that I shouldn't have understood. Uh, and I think the most important thing he said to me was, Wilford, if you want to get better, I'm going to give you an ice cream, an apple pie. And the more attention you pay to an ice cream, an apple pie, and the more ice cream, an apple pie you are, the faster you'll get better and the better you'll feel. And ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly diabetes. Through the years, the closer I've paid attention to family, I'm not perfect. And I've slipped up, and I've eaten family, and I've done things I shouldn't do. But I want to tell you, when I don't eat family, I eat, eat ice cream and apple pie, and I, I do feel better. I would encourage all of you to find a family that you trust and understand I'm not doing it without help. I'm surrounded by people who love me, Dick, who care for me, Dick, and who want me to feel better. Now, one of the things I've learned to do is uh, laugh at type 2 adult onset diabetes, not kind of loosen up, kind of relax about type 2 adult onset diabetes. You know, having type 2 adult onset diabetes is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, you know, type 2 adult onset diabetes, people do learn to live with this. And along the trail, you're going to find some things that you ought to, be, ought to be laughing at. So I would encourage you, loosen up. There's a line in a song. Uh, forget your troubles. Come on, get a type 2 adult onset diabetes and laugh all your cares away. You know, it's not a bad idea once in a while. Uh, I guess at this point, uh, I want to tell you about an affiliation that I formed along the way. Along my path of type 2 adult onset diabetes, I was very, very fortunate to be uh, engaged by a company, Liberty Medical. You need a better Hi, my name's Melvin, and I'm a whale biologist. Today I'm going to tell you how to tame a dinosaur. Let's go. Okay, now this is how you tame it. Okay, so first, get back here, dinosaur. You oh, uh, this is my handy dinosaur picker up a tool. It helps me pick shit up. Okay, so, um, first, we need to get the and push. Well, by that we mean you have to you have to drive the dinosaur around. You have to gain its friendliness. Oh fuck. Um. Well, you, how how you may ask this is because um. Uh, well, first you have to okay. You have to drive a plane into it. This this may seem like it'll piss the dinosaur off, but actually it makes him very friendly. See, and we tamed him. He's not dead. Trust me. Uh, so this was how to tame a dinosaur. A, a how to Gmod series. Well, uh, that was pretty good. I um, no dinosaurs were hurt during the filming of this. I promise. Uh, okay. So next time we'll see you on how to totally not kill a dragon and how to tame it.
Hello, you fucking faggots. I heard there is a something special. Um, so yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Next, how to Gmod. How to Gmod episode 5, I think. I don't know, I've lost count. Don't judge me. Um, it's gonna be how to make a nuclear bomb. Um, so, you know. I, I, I will try not to fucking kill myself. And, the person on this channel who, who made the channel, well, might, we don't really know yet, if he will make Godzilla 2000 versus Godzilla 2001. Now, he's very busy with his life. That's why he's not uploading much. But now, we are going to do a little thing where I'm gonna do, see, my entire life as Melbourne. So, it started off one day, and it was very cold. Then I realized I was inside of a test tube. Yes. I, I grew up in the test chamber um, when I got out of the test tube, and um, well, one day there was a rat inside the test chamber, and he bit me, and we became friends. It was love at first sight. And then, one day he ran away, so I stabbed him with a paw. But yeah, then one day, when I grew up, I stole a plane, well, I, I snuck out of the test chamber, climbed through the events, and stole a plane. Guess what? I... Somehow I traveled back in time, and I found... a dinosaur. And, so, I crashed my plane into it by accident, and it stopped attacking me. So at that moment, I knew that we became friends, and I have tamed him. And after that, I knew that I would teach people around the world how to Gmod. Because, obviously they don't know how to tame a dinosaur like I do. Because they're fucking faggy. Okay, well, now I just want to say thank you for everyone that enjoys the channel. Or, I think a thousand, even more, maybe, thing, person. A thousand five hundred, um, for sticking around, for, especially the people that have been here since the beginning of this person's channel. And we just like to thank you. It's and also fuck you, you fucking hater faggots. You deserve to die inside Melvin uh, dinosaur. So yeah, bye.